Waban, English course for the construction trade. Unit 21. 21.1. Paving. Roads and footpaths. Landscaping. Paving. Paver. Paving slab. Exposed cobbles concrete. Terracotta. Anti-slip surface. Pebble course. Gravel course. Dwarf wall. Drainage channel. Terrace. Court. Courtyard. Patio. Roads and footpaths. Road. Driveway. Roadway. Pavement. Sidewalk. Footpath. Ramp. Curb. Radius curb. Curbstone. Subgrade. Subbase. Base. Base course. Wearing course. Turning head. Landscaping. Fence. Hedge. Windbreak. Vegetation. Tree. Plant. Pergola. Sod. Lawn. Seed. Topsoil. Flowers bed. Planter. 21.2 Reading. Environment. Organisms exist under the influence of external conditions which in total constitute the environment. The physical, or abiotic component of the environment includes all the non-living aspects. The biotic component consists of the organisms which interact with each other and with their abiotic environment. Any factor that disturbs the delicate balance between the two components causes a chain reaction that may end in drastic permanent changes. The consequences of disturbing the balance of an ecosystem are well documented throughout history in the extinction of species, the devastation of floods and earthquakes, the depletion of natural resources, the deaths and crop losses from disease epidemics, and the widespread effects of pollution, the product of modern technology. While evolution documents the successes and failures of species to adapt to changing environments, civilization attests to the human ability to implement environmental change. In either case, it is clear that not all changes are beneficial. Environmental science is concerned with evaluating these changes, considering both natural and human activities as distinct but inseparable. The study of environmental science encompasses the fields of ecology, geophysics, geochemistry, forestry, public health, meteorology, agriculture, oceanography, soil science, and mining. Civil, Petroleum, and Power Engineering Among the problems confronting environmentalists are land reclamation, eutrophication, desertification, and pollution. Solutions to these problems will provide the foundation for the ultimate protection and preservation of our environment. 21.3 Practical Conversation At the Restaurant this is a nice restaurant. Yes, thank you for inviting us. I hear the food is delicious. This is the nicest restaurant I have ever been to in my life. Bob, do you have your gift ready? Yes, Al, I do. Michelle, Juanita, Bob and I have gifts for you. Well, we decided flowers are too boring and chocolates will make you fat. So we put our heads together to come up with some really exciting gifts. You guys are so kind. Yes, you two are so very thoughtful. Bob, would you like to go first? Yes, Al. Don't mind if I do. Juanita, this is for you. A goldfish? No, not a goldfish. It's our Oscar fish. Well, thank you, I, I think. When it gets bigger, it eats the goldfish. That's disgusting. Wow, that's cool. Now for you, Michelle. Voila! What is this? Some sort of dartboard? Oh, Al, you're so handsome in your picture. What do you think? Do you like your gifts? Well, I really like the fish, Juanita. I really like your picture, Michelle. Flowers are too boring. Two. The tea is too hot. 
This movie is too scary. You two are so, so very thoughtful. Thoughtful. You have a very thoughtful husband. Thanks for the gift. You're very thoughtful. 21.4. On Construction Site Conversation. Landscaping. Excerpt from English for the Construction Industry by Graham and Celia Waterhouse, The Macmillan Press Limited. Peter, Site Agent. Sylvia, Landscape Architect. Oh, hello, Peter. I've just brought these final landscape drawings over. How are you getting on with things? Oh, not as well as I hoped. I'm afraid. You know, the grass sowing was programmed for the end of the sowing season. Well, there's just no way we'll be ready for then, by then. Yes, it's been such awful weather, hasn't it? What we could do with this now... Ready? Let's uh, start from Sylvia. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, hello, Peter. I just bought these final landscape drawings over. How are you getting on with things? Oh, not as well as I'd hoped, I'm afraid. You know, the grass sowing was programmed for the end of the sowing season. Well, there's just no way we'll be ready by then. Yes, it's been such awful weather, hasn't it? What we could do na with now is a good dry spell, or the ground will be too wet even to prepare for any sowing. It really has been wet this autumn. And do you know, since last winter, we've lost about six weeks' working time through inclement weather? And this is supposed to be the better part of the year. It's really put us back. I'm sure it has. And of course we could be into cold weather again before we know it. Goodness knows how many weeks' work will be lost once win winter really sets in. Hmm, that's just what worries me. But anyway, we do expect to finish the external works by Christmas and then the landscape contractor will be able to make a start, all being well. Well, we could be lucky, I suppose. If there's no freezing, we might be able to plant trees. But the rest of the plant material, well, we'll just have to hope for more favorable conditions in the spring.